it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and right now I'm on the road to Creevecore, Missouri. It's about an hour away from where I live, and I'm going to pick up some dishes from somebody on Craigslist. It's actually the same person that I bought dishes from before, and she has more of the Franciscan Ivy pieces. So we worked out a deal on the remainder of what she has, and I'm on the way now to pick them up. It's Sunday morning, the roads are very dead. So that's that's nice that I don't have to deal with traffic. But um, I'm going to do that. I, I normally wouldn't drive so far for something like dishes, especially when the, the margins for making money on them are not the best, but I really want the dishes. Some of them I'm going to keep, and then I'm sure I'm going to be able to sell the others that I pick up that I don't want, and they should probably move quickly. Uh, I think that the pattern is a fairly popular pattern, especially with collectors, people who like I Love Lucy, like me. So. There's also an estate sale or two right over by her. In fact, St. Louis has a lot of sales at, at any given time. The city itself has maybe 30 going on right now today, whereas around me, it's more like one. And the one that is going on now is the one I went to a couple days ago. Everything is half off. I, I think that I might go back in just to see what is still there and if anything is worth half of what it was marked at but the ones in st. Louis that I'm going to are it's their last day as well so maybe they'll be half off I don't even know I don't know what the sales are like in downtown st. Louis or the st. Louis region I have a feeling these roads that it's, it's probably pricier but we'll see what it's what it's like. Holy smokes, this is a really fancy neighborhood. Like, the houses, I don't know if you can, yeah, they're really nice here. So, whoa, I don't know what's gonna happen and there's a lot of people outside waiting. Okay, I'm walking back now. I was able to get a handful of items here for $5, and now I'm gonna have to go through these. Oh my gosh. It's a really narrow street, and it's a new development too. So it's hard to get around, but these houses are amazing. All right, so I did get some things. I was able to grab this here. It's a little, it's an acrylic blanket. It's actually pretty large. It says romance blanket. <laughs> and it says it fits a twin or a double bed. It was originally marked $10, but I asked the guy if they would do three, and he said yes. It was half off today anyway, so it would have been five, but I didn't want to spend five. I also found this little seashell. It was $2. I got it for half of that, so a dollar. That'll go in the booth. I probably could sell it for maybe six or seven. I don't know. <laughs> I actually found this Barnum and Bailey glass. I don't even know how much I paid for it because um, it wasn't marked and she pretty much just rang it up at the register. Probably 50 cents though. And then, well, I spent a total of $5, so I don't know. Divide it out how you want. Then I got two of these Tweety Bird pillow, for, pillow frames, pillow picture frames, pillow cases. Pillow cases right here, Tweety Bird, and there's a pair of them. The last thing that I got was this 101 Dalmatians twin sheet. It's in really, really good shape, so we'll see what that does. I only spent $5 for everything, and I think I did pretty well. So, off to the next stop, which is actually to get the dishes. I just picked up the dishes from the lady, and everything went really good. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock now, so I think I'm going to stop at a few places on my way home because I'd like to go back to that estate sale that I went to a couple days ago. It's half off today so maybe I'll be able to find something and um, that'll be nice. We went through all the different pieces of the china 
and it was all in pretty good shape. There was only a couple of pieces that had little chippity doodahs. So it came in a little bit under the hundred dollars that we talked about. I think it 90 bucks. $90 and at the end of the video I will show you what I got. Super excited. Um, some pieces I'm going to keep. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to keep. But yeah. Yeah, Goodwill was a bust. It's Sunday, so most of it's been picked over, and we're at like one o'clock now, so that's the way it is. And honestly, I was just here a couple days ago, so. Yep, off to the next place. I'm gonna pop into Savers real quick. I don't usually have much luck here, but uh, I don't know, maybe today I might. No. Four dollars for two plates. I don't think so. This is crazy. Fifteen dollars for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Come on guys. They charge a dollar per mug. I think that's a little high. I vote for fifty cents. <laughs> Got some laurel leaf in the Three dollars. Some really nice juice glasses. You get the four. Three dollars for the set of four. All right, so I did end up getting those orange juice glasses, and I just checked out. It was this must have been a sale day, because there was a ton of people in there buying mostly clothes. And anyways, the glasses came to about $12 for the two sets of four. $6 a set if you want to think of it that way. Kind of a lot for juice glasses. But I wanted to get something since I went in there. And I know on the one set I've already have them, I already have photos taken and they're the exact same set so I just have to wash them and then update my quantity. And then the other set is a new set. It's pretty cool. Um, I might show them at the end of the video. Or if you just if you watch the clip, it's the ones right next to them. They have like an extra bubble on the bottom, kind of. And so those are neat. So I'll photograph those, update the quantity on the other one, and we're good to go. All right, so I'm back from the whole big day, and I just have a few things to wrap up and show you, and then we'll be done. But these are all the Franciscan Ivy pieces that I grabbed while I was out today. These right here are the is the teapot sugar and creamer that I'm gonna keep, I think. Here's just a little extra bowl that I'm gonna put away. That was a bonus. But then I got a lot of these great serving pieces that I'm going to sell. The divided bowl here, we've got a large bowl. I actually might keep this bowl too. And then this covered vegetable bowl, we'll sell that online. And then we've got this nice divided relish tray. We have three large our 10 inch dinner plates, and then a larger platter. I think I'll keep the platter too. And then I'm gonna sell all the teacups and the saucers. I'll sell the gravy boat. The crescent plate will go, as well as the berry bowls. And then we've got four salad plates. Those will go online. And then I think there's 15 of the bread and butter plates those will go online so the majority will be sold but um yeah I can't help myself I'm gonna keep a few pieces and then I went to that estate sale that I went to a few days ago and everything was half off so I found this really pretty Fenton basket bowl right here 
So I paid half of 25, that's 1250. And it has a really interesting exterior. Um, I believe they call that, well, I don't remember. The inside is called diamond optic. And then it's a crimped edge. It's stretched glass. If you can see the markings on there from where the glass was refired after it was stretched, threaded. It's called threaded whenever it has this lines on it like that. It's a really interesting bowl though. It's um, three feet, three feet foots on it. Three feet. Three feet are on it. Is that how you say that? Well, there's three little things on there that hold it up. It's all in really, really nice shape. And then I also picked up this ship's time. That'll go great in the booth. It was $4. I don't know if it works, but it's a quartz clock. I just need to open her up and put a battery in. See if that works. And then I grabbed these two keys. This one was $2.50. It's a big brass key that'll go online. And then there's this little one here, still in its box. It's, they're calling it a paperweight. So I'll, ooh. <laughs> it's heavy. Oh, it's very shiny. Very nice. That'll go online as well. And this was $2.50. So I got both of those. And that's all I got whenever I went back to the estate sale. Uh, oh, and then just to revisit these, that's what I got at Savers. Those are the four, four of those, and then four of the little guys. And I don't know if I showed you this in the car. It's a, I might have. It's one of these Ringling Brothers circus cups. This one I think I, okay, there's a tab in there. This one I might sell online. And this will go in the booth, probably $5. Paid a dollar for it. I think that's everything though. Yeah, so um, it was kind of a hectic day. I've been out since 9 a.m. and it's about three or so. So anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of everything. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.